What is up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and today I'm going to show you how I turn my Subaru from this into this Subaru right here. I wanted to find a body kit that included both front and rear bumpers as well as over fenders and I got it from bodykits.com and it is a Duraflex body kit which are notorious for not being good but I figured I'd try my hand on it and see how it came out. And at the end of the video I'll be taking it to a drift event and trying to drift it as well as doing some ride along so stay tuned and let's get to the video. The box is completely destroyed, but we have the full wide body kit right here. Everything looks fine, luckily. This is pretty fucking solid, sturdy fiberglass, so it'd probably it'd take quite a bit to actually crack it. But I was gonna work on the Baja a little bit, but I guess not anymore, because we got some cooler stuff to do. All right, so here we go, guys. I got everything pulled into Lena's spot in the shop, and let's go ahead and unwrap this and hope that nothing is messed up. I'm definitely going to have to do body work on it since it is Duraflex, but I'd prefer not to have to do it because it got broken in shipping. So let's do it. Well, here we go, guys. Here is the entire Duraflex body kit that they make for my car. We got front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts, over fenders, front and rear. So this is everything for it. And we can already tell the build quality because these little caps don't even fit in. So I guess these are separately molded. I tried to shove this one in. So we got a lot of work ahead of us, boys. From what I've seen, this is the only little bit of damage that I got in shipping, which is actually not bad at all. This rear bumper looks pretty good too. Got this huge diffuser thing on it. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, but I guess we'll have to see once it's on the car because I actually have a cut rear bumper, whereas this is an enlarged rear bumper. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but I am excited about the over fenders and everything so I can finally put body panels on this car. I have owned this Subaru for almost eight years now and I have never put any sort of body kit or anything like that. Never put side skirts on it, never put any upgraded fenders. The only thing I ever did to this was put the STI replica front bumper on the front and a few wings on the back, spoilers on the back. So this is gonna be a huge deal to go from a stock narrow body to this massive wide body. These over fenders also increase it by 50 millimeters, which is about two inches or so. So I'm definitely gonna be getting better wheels for now. I may put spacers on. My exhaust and a hitch get in the way. I knew the hitch was going to. I'm gonna end up cutting a hole in it because I do want to keep my hitch. But the exhaust I was not expecting. Oh boy, I'm just trying to set the parts kind of in the general area of where they're gonna be mounted. And all the edges of these are all wavy. They don't sit flush at all. So this is gonna be a lot of fucking work. This is why Duraflex gets such a bad rap, but if you have a little bit of an idea on how to mess with fiberglass and bodywork, then it's not too bad. I was also curious about how much all of this weighed because both bumpers feel like they weigh a whole lot. If we go to the package details, you can see my entire body kit only weighs 45 pounds. I also went out and purchased this Bauer band file, I guess is what it's called. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to use that a lot to do all the trimming and everything to get it to fit properly. And these side skirts are super wavy also. You can see <laughs> just how bad that lines up. God, my paint looks so good on camera. I can't believe it. This rear bumper has so many like little contorted areas and they're all rough. You can see all these edges where it's just not clean. This corner, you know, so to get this perfect, it is gonna take a whole lot of effort. I don't know 
how much I'm gonna end up wanting to do or being able to do, but I'm gonna try at least. But I think I'm just gonna end up time-lapsing most of this video because if I were to explain every little part in this video it would be hours long. So I'm gonna put y'all on the tripod and get to fucking sanding, mocking up, taping up, all that jazz.
I'm just. Uh, like <laughs> Well, here she is, finished enough to drive around. Uh, I was gonna try to do it completely perfect the first time, but it ended up taking way too long and I didn't get the results I wanted. So for this side is the side I tried to do body work on and it didn't come out right, so I just bolted it on. And then the passenger side is just pure Duraflex fitment. I did a little bit of gr cutting and grinding to get it to fit, but I didn't add any fiberglass or filler or anything like that to make it fit any better. And I'd say both came out pretty good. But anyways, I got this all put together not perfect because today is a memorial drift event for my friend that passed away. Uh, he actually was in a video or two of mine back in the day. Um, and I wanted to bring this car to that memorial drift event fully wide body and everything. So without further ado, we're going to head over there and uh, maybe do some ride alongs and see everyone and hang out and just have a good time. Not the boy. Where you at? This guy's the real deal right there. See, we just hanging out. Got the bikes on the other side. And we got a full track. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. Never been to a drift event before. This isn't really professional. It's just a bunch of friends that rented out this big ass lot. So good though. We got traffic because people want to watch this shit. Fucking scary, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't
All right, well, I made it to the drift event and drove home on wire without any issues. The Subaru, it did decent. Uh, I don't really know how to drift, and this car is not dialed in or anything. I'm still in the process of building it, but since the whole parking lot was rented out, I decided to test it out, and it was kind of interesting to finally slide this thing a little bit, although I did take some damage on my brand new body kit. Cracked the bumper there, which then hit right there. This little piece cracked. Obviously gonna be messing up the bottom of the bumper too. But everything's gonna end up getting messed up anyways, especially with this being a Duraflex kit. So I'm not too worried about it because it is gonna happen with me driving it how it is. But anyways, guys, this is the finished product and I'm in love with it. I'm not sure what the next mod I was going to do is. I was originally gonna do a turbo, get it turboed and everything, but now I think I should do wheels since I have a bunch of spacers on here to even have them somewhat poke out. They don't even poke out enough at all. But the wheels I wanna get are several thousand dollars, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, follow my Instagram, TikTok, everything under that username right there. I'm trying to go live on TikTok a little bit more often to show y'all the behind the scenes. So if you wanna see if you can catch me on a live there, that'd be nice, but motherfucking peace.